Hi, I'm JP. Welcome to Jabe's Vlog, episode 12. In this video, we're going to talk about the city of Mississauga. It has been my hometown for the past 21 years, so we're going to cover the history of the city, neighborhoods, demographics, economic growth, and famous people Mississauga has produced. So, let's get to it. Mississauga can trace its roots back to before European settlement over 200 years ago. In the early 1600s, French traders encountered native people around the north shore of Lake Huron called the Mississaugas. The Mississaugas were an Ojibwe band and by the early 1700s had migrated south and settled in the area around Etobicoke Creek, Credit River, and Burlington Bay. Mississauga translates as meaning river of the north of many mouths. Mississauga is an up-and-coming business area with a strong economic growth and a generally affluent population. According to worldpopulationreview.com, Mississauga's population sits just a little under 790,000 people. This figure is up nine-tenths of a percent since 2020. Mississauga is the sixth most populous municipality in Canada, third most in Ontario, and second most in GTA, which is the Greater Toronto Area. Mississauga has 24 neighborhoods, and in this episode, I will show you three historic villages still recognized today by place name. They are Clarkson, Meadowvale, and Streetsville. Meadowvale neighborhood is located in the northwestern part of the city. It was established in 1819 by Irish immigrants from New York State led by John Beatty. It has over 100,000 people currently living in the area. Numerous major corporations established their offices and factories in Meadowvale, boosting its economic growth in the city.
Clarkson, also called Clarkson Village, is a neighborhood situated in the southwest corner of the city. It is bordered by Lake Ontario to the south, Oakville to the west, Erindale and Erin Mills to the north, and Lorne Park to the east. In 1808, 15-year-old Warren Clarkson and his brother Joshua left their home in Albany, New York, to seek their fortune in Canada. They had been invited to come work for a friend of a family who had bought land near Lake Ontario. Today, the community and the surrounding area consist mostly of a mix of upper and middle class homes. Some of the last major industrial sites in Mississauga outline the community, including Suncor Energy, Wholesome, CFRB 1010 AM Radio, 1050 Chum AM Radio, Orion Bus Industries, and Electrovea. Go Transit, a division of Metro Lynx, is the uh, regional public transit service for the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area. They provide service to downtown Toronto and other nearby urban areas, carrying over 70 million passengers a year.
Dubbed the village in the city, the quaint town of Streetsville is located in the growing city of Mississauga. Home to the largest number of historic buildings in the city, Streetsville blends old world charm with its 300 plus unique and inviting restaurants, cafes, pubs, shops, and more. With events going on year round, there's always something to do in the village. Come on down and see all that Streetsville has to offer. In 1818, the last remaining tract along the banks of the Credit River was ceded to the British government. Timothy Street, a resident of Niagara Township, was given the task of surveying the final acquisition. In return, Mr. Street was granted a thousand acres of land in the new township and in 1824 this area became known as Streetsville. That will do it for this video guys, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out on my weekly videos, big shout out to two of my biggest mentors, Julius and Joel, please check out and subscribe to their respective channels, I have travel and boy to go. Thank you so much for watching, until next time, have a great week ahead everyone, bye.